So I recently paid a visit to Lens Mill Stores, this one being their Hamilton Stony Creek store. They have 12 stores across Ontario. Basically, uh, they describe themselves as a factory outlet, which you can kind of go in. Uh, if you know that, then you understand what it looks like inside. It can, I, I've heard it being described as a bit junky, but there is a lots to see and uh, qu quite a bit to purchase with some hidden treasures here and there. So I encourage everyone to try it out. When you first come in, there's buggies, and uh, I gotta say the aisles are very narrow, um, kind of an old school style store. Um, just go in there uh, keeping that in mind. There's not a lot of room to move around, so there is some patience, especially during these times that you need to uh, exercise. And this store is kind of divided in half, uh, the front half being kind of a mini department store, and the back with all the textiles, fabrics, and uh, all the accessories. So here you can see a lot of uh, dried flower, um, supplies and uh, pots and things like that so uh, you really have to spend your time looking around if you want something specific but they do have a fairly decent uh, variety if you're into uh, crafting or flower arranging or something like that and the flyer deals uh, I found were close to the front so easy to find they do publish a flyer and here you can see some of the aisles at the front so a lot of bedding uh, you know duvet covers mattress protectors The original location I believe is in Cambridge. I've been there a few times uh, years ago and I believe that's where the mill is as well. So they do um, textiles and uh, clothing uh, a little bit more than this store has, but this store has quite a bit of clothing which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so these front aisles have a lot of uh, uh, storage and organization, uh, bedding, things like that, even some pet supplies and treats. Uh, I did pick up uh, three bags of bird seed. They had some good prices. Even the Niger seed was a uh, good price. So uh, I did have a gift card with me, which I was lucky to have. So I used that up. And there you can see some of the end caps at the front. So quite a variety. Um, it's fairly well organized, but they do, if there's some special they want to move faster than others, they'll put it in a different area. So you have to kind of search around for things. You can always ask the staff, they're friendly. And there you can see there was uh, gloves, there's socks, uh, t-shirts in those aisles. You can see the yellow signs above, so it kind of, uh, just look up when you need to know um, what department you're in, uh, in terms of clothing. Okay, quite a bit of kids clothing, uh, snow suits, hats. And there you can see there's fitting rooms available as well. So this is kind of down towards the uh, south end, or if you come in to the left, of the main cache if you head all the way down that's where the clothing is so a good third of the the front of the store is devoted to clothing and a decent variety um, just like any retail uh, factory outlet they uh, the stock keeps changing you can see here there's scrubs for healthcare workers as well which I was kind of surprised to see but they do carry that and uh, yeah I didn't spend a lot of time going through everything but uh, from what I saw the prices were pretty good good markdowns and the clothing I did check out, I didn't see any any, any defects or uh, um, reason that uh, they they were a lot cheaper than other stores, but uh, that was my experience. So you saw the yellow signs above showing you kind of the different areas and what age groups. So they had uh, good prices on t-shirts, just not a lot of color selection. Rain jackets and rain wear. And there you can see some of the good brand names that they carry here and there. So yeah, I saw Columbia and North Face. So yeah, if you spend some time and, and, and look through, um, it's not one of those stores where you can just pop in quickly and grab what you want and go. You have to kind of uh, rummage through a few of the things and so you'd be surprised at what you find. Um, they have some aisles with jeans and uh, you know, cargo pants, uh, shirts, a lot of... Um, safety wear, personal protective equipment. They have uh, at least one aisle of socks and um, warm and work socks and warm socks and multi-packs things like that and they even had the uh, slip-on uh, cleats that you can put over your shoes for the ice. And there's a shot of the fitting rooms at the kind of south end of the store. 
and then the front part of the store has a lot of crafting so whatever craft you're into you can probably find a decent supply of uh, what you need here so you know canvases for paint for painting and uh, acrylic paints oil paints again the aisles are pretty narrow so you know if it's busy it might be a bit challenging to get around people but try to go in uh, times that uh, are probably not as busy as other times so and I did notice a lot of uh, scrapbooking supplies so uh, probably a good place to go if you're into that so you know all those little embellishments for the pages and stickers and things you can add uh, cutting tools um, yeah I'm not, I'm not aware of all the things you need for that craft but uh, seemed like there was a good supply of that so a good yeah three aisles of, of stuff related to I think scrapbooking a lot of different paints and uh, you know oil and acrylics So it's one of those places you're going to probably want to spend some time just to, at least to see what they have to start with, but uh, yeah, I've heard it's good for, uh, for if you're into crafting. Or even just projects that you need, uh, you know, a small brush for. You don't necessarily have to be into crafting, but uh, you know, there's dowels even uh, if you're doing a home repair. If you need a, a dowel, you can find it here. Lots of school supplies, uh, pens and specialty scissors and shears. That whole section of crayons and different colors and styles. And a lot of drawing supplies. Okay, a lot of things like stickers and like I said, those little embellishments for scrapbooking. So that's the front half of the front section of the store. It is kind of uh, dedicated to uh, crafting and art supplies and school supplies. And you can see some uh, different size envelopes. So a decent amount of office supplies as well. And uh, a couple aisles with artwork. So posters and uh, stretched canvas prints and uh, framed prints as well, I believe. So there's a yeah, good variety to look through. Especially if you're doing maybe a kid's room and you want to add a few prints or some wall hangings. And here's one of the flyer deals that I picked up. So uh, we need some hangers. Alright, so yeah, um, this is kind of down towards the, uh, the where the fitting rooms are. You know, there's uh, long underwear and lots of kids' toys. So I was surprised to see the amount of toys they have as well. And still a good supply of uh, winter clothing for children. Now on their website they do offer online shopping. Uh, it's mostly, uh, I would say, their textiles and crafting. Um, so not maybe not so much the clothing. So there's obviously a lot more to see in store as opposed to um, their website. But uh, you do have the option to order some things online. So I would check that out at uh, lensmill.com. I'll post the link at the uh, end of the video. So there you can see some laundry hampers and containers and trash containers and again this is the front part of the store so a lot of crafting and uh, spray paints and cork boards. They do sell cork by the sheet as well if you want to want to make something with a lot of cork. And there's the magnetic letters so interesting to go through the aisles and see what they have to offer. It's kind of a surprise around every corner. Good selection of pens and markers and like I said uh, there was quite a bit of Crayola crayons and things for parties, a decent amount of party supplies. And of course being a Canadian retail store you have to have uh, some 
hockey related equipment so a little mini mini hockey sticks and some themed uh, merchandise and there you can see some of the storage and uh, household goods and they have a small variety of uh, spices and some sauces and things like that in one of the aisles in the front of the store so not a big selection but um, again it's a kind of a factory outlet so um, yeah it's a kind of a hit and miss on what you you don't go there specifically for a certain type of hot sauce you just happen to see it but uh, I was surprised to see what what they carry so these are like air freshener beads um, you know all kinds of things children's books puzzles and those are those uh, crossbody bags And these, uh, it's kind of funny, the one with the maple leaf says sorry on it, so it's very Canadian to have socks that apologize. And these are kind of Prime Minister socks. There you can see, uh, again, kind of the, the back half of the front of the store is, um, you know, some storage baskets and containers. And uh, surprised to see the variety they had. And then there's a, kind of a hardware section. So quite a, a number of things to for home repair and uh, just household uh, hardware items. And then there's a uh, at least one aisle of you know shampoos and soaps and toiletries things like that. We even had a little automotive section with jumper cables and there's shoelaces at the end of one aisle, decent selection and colors. So you can kind of see why some people say it's it's junky if you're not if you're used to the you know the WalMarts or the stores that are really organized. Uh, this is a little bit of a change, a little bit old school, I would say. But uh, you know, exercise some patience, to spend some time in the aisles and see what they have to offer. It's not for everyone, but uh, it is a very interesting store to check out. Things you may not find at other stores, or marked down quite a bit, like even these seeds. There were two for a dollar, and I found some, you know, some dill and a, and a few flowers that uh, I was surprised they even had. So I picked up some of those. And I start my seeds indoors every year, and even some candy, specialty candies. I, I bought a couple of packs of these, and they're they're actually really good. So this uh, next section is the back of the store. So a lot of textiles. So if you're making your own clothes or you need uh, fabrics. Or curtains, things like that, wools, um, every kind of thing related to uh, the textile industry, I guess you would say. There's even uh, padding and uh, fills for pillows and things like that. And it's all revolves around like a central service desk where they'll they'll cut whatever you need, um, where they'll help you out. So. The day I was there, it was fairly busy in the back. There was quite a lineup at that desk, so just be prepared that some days are gonna you're gonna have to wait for a bit. But uh, it's like any store; there's uh, times where it's gonna be busy. But yeah, quite the selection of fabrics. Probably a good place to go to if you're making your own like Halloween costume or for a special event, things like that. In the back of the rear of the store is a lot of ribbons and accessories. Uh, different color threads, a lot of sewing supplies. And I guess they have, you know, the catalogs to, to, to flip through and they even have uh, zippers here, like all different colors. So you can see where uh, you're, you're going to spend some time if you're looking for a certain fabric. Um, you know, it's it's all laid out there for you, but you have to spend some time looking for uh, what you need. 
There's even plaids. And yes, there's some timed deals too, you know, for three days or two days only kind of thing. So there you can see some upholstery materials, some wrapping, uh, seasonal wrapping colors. And quite a few things you come across that you don't realize what they carry, but uh, they even have window dressings, uh, curtain rods and finials and stuff related to uh, window dressing. You can even make your own camouflage um, clothing or sheets or whatever. And even, yeah, you, you know, your current movies that are out, uh, there's some theming around that. Uh, seasonal, you know, Christmas and Halloween related and themed uh, materials. And your dies. And I'm not sure what this, I think some of these were vinyls and things like that, but uh, yeah, quite a quite an interesting array of rolls of different materials. So I'll put the link here uh, for the main website and I appreciate you spending time uh, watching the videos. There's more to come. Please subscribe. Bye for now.